Hello and welcome back. I am Gaming Fool 12 and this is some Threads of Fate. I just saw a shiny here. Ooh, bronze coin. Uh, this is some Threads of Fate and we're gonna go right into, uh, right into the forest. Let's go to forest, yeah. Depart. Loading. Okay, let's see. Jump. How do I attack? Attack. Why can't I attack? What is attack? There is no attack. Are you serious? Oh, circle to jump. Okay. Jump. 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 Press X to attack. Gain MP. Gain MP. Pow! Ooh! You can transform in monster coins! Yeah! Let's transform. How do I transform? How do I transform? Transform? No transform? You're not gonna let me transform? Alright. Fine, I see how you are. The easiest way to cross the strong. Okay, you're gonna show me how. Hold down the square button. Powly wogs! Powly wogs! Powly powly wogs! Chomp 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 chomp! Nom 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 nom! <laughs> to transform back into Ryu, press the square button. Let's go back. Yeah! Give me that. Yeah! Bronze coins! Browns coins. Browns coins to allow you to continue when your HP becomes zero. Silver coins and gold coins allow you to continue your game as well. You find these coins in treasure boxes and other places. Sure, why not? Ah, pow! Ooh, MP! Ooh, tiger! Tiger! Ow! Tiger, tiger, tiger! Ow! Give me that tiger! No! Polywog! Keep going! Keep going! Run! Hey, no following. You can't follow me. Oh, dude, I just love his axe. He just like one hands that like a boss. It's like easily twice his size. Ow, golly, you messing me up. Jeez. I wish I was as epic as Ryu, honestly. Go, pow. Nope, 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 nope. Go that way. Yeah, pow, pow. Who needs to be a polywog? I'll just... I'll tank through this like a boss. Get away! Get away! You don't want none of this! Yeah! None of this! Um... How do I continue? There we go. Uh, as you may have noticed, as I've been getting hit, my HP has been going up. That's because this game is rather unique for... As far as I've seen in a... In a RPG. The more you take damage or... What the? Please let me go! I'm not even gonna try and do the voices. <laughs> we aren't hurting you. We just want a little food, that's all. We haven't eaten in two days, you know. Yeah, got no money for dinner either. <laughs> what do you say, baby? Got anything to spare? I don't have any money. Eh, let's rough her up. What should I do? I have to be careful or she might get hurt. Ah, dilemmas, dilemmas. Let's go up and chomp him in the ass. This is good. Hey, look! I just be polywog. We got company. It's just a polywog, butthead. Ugh, please let me go. Hey, look. Hey, look. I'm sitting on your head. What now? I'm jumping on your head. Nope, 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 nope. Jump. Jump. <laughs> Alright. Come on, mom, 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 mom. What the hell? Let's get it! Nom 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 nom. Nom nom nom. <laughs> I love it. Yeah, take that. Bro, it don't feel so good. Alright, time to get serious. Oh, hell! <laughs> that old injury is acting up again. Man, just when I was about to take you out. What a pansy! It kills me to let you live. I'll see you another day. <laughs> hey, bro, wait for me! <laughs> oh my gosh, so funny. Are you okay? 
Thank you, Polly. Wow, you can turn into a person too. Polly? Oh no, I'm not a Pollywog. This is the real me. But I saw you when you came out. You were a Pollywog. That was just a disguise to catch them off guard. My name isn't Polly. It's Ryu. Oh, okay. Your name is Ryu, but you're really a Pollywog. <laughs> this girl is dense. I really like Polly. Can I call you Polly? Um, how should I explain this? Oh, I'm sorry. I haven't even introduced myself. Thank you again for helping me, Polly. My name is Elena. Gee, if you hadn't come wrong, I don't know what have happened to me. What are you doing here? This forest looks dangerous. There's monsters everywhere. I came here to look for my parents. They've gone for five days now. I know they're here somewhere. Those brutes might have gone after my parents! I have to find them fast, Polly! It was nice meeting you! Hey, wait! I'll go with you. Let me help you look for your parents. Oh, really? Gee, you're such a nice Polly Ball. Thanks. Why did I just give her a Southern Bell accent? I have no idea. I really appreciate this. Okay, let's go, Polly. Follow me! It's not Polly! Polly want a pack cracker! That girl really thinks I'm a monster. Maybe I am. As I was saying, this game is rather different than most RPGs in the fact that uh, your stats aren't based on levels, more about how often you use them, such as attack, the more you beat on a monster, the higher your damage goes, and HP, the more you take damage, the higher it goes, and likewise with MP, the more you use it, um, the higher it goes, and so on. I think it's this way, come on! Now, a little, a funny little cut screen. If you do transform into a tiger, you get a different cutscene, and I will show you because it's pretty epic cutscene. It's really awesome. But you have to beat her there. Oh shit! Run, run, and then you just wait here for her to come up. Is that you, Polly? Wow! I thought you could only turn into a person. My parents are going to be so surprised when they see you. Okay, let's go! Anyways, that's it. That's the only... It's like a... Easter egg or something, I don't know. It's really cool. I accidentally found that out one time while playing this. It was a total fluke. I transformed into a tiger and just beat her here. Because I... I didn't have any other thing going on. And I thought... What if I beat her here? What what happens then? So I transformed into a tiger and I got that little Easter egg. So it, it's kind of cool, but, you know, doesn't really do anything for the story. Elena, what are you doing here? What am I doing here? I haven't come home in five days. I was so worried about you. Dad, what happened to your leg? Oh, it's nothing. It's just a twisted ankle. I can still walk. Phew, that, thank goodness. I'm sorry, darling. I guess I became so caught up in my research again. I can't believe you came here by yourself. Are you alright? Actually, some brutes along the way mugged me, but Ryu the Polywog saved me! Ryu the Polywog? Hello. <clears throat> You're... That's Ryu, but I call him Polly. Polly's really amazing. He a Polywog, but he can turn into a person. Yeah, see, it doesn't even mention the thing about the tiger, so yeah, it uh, does absolutely nothing for the story. Anyways, continue on. But usually he's a person, and his name is Ryu, so I call him Ryu the Polywog. Hold on, honey. I'm getting confused. So, your name is Ryu, right? Yes. It's a pleasure to meet you, Ryu. My name is Claus. I live in the... Corna... I'm never gonna pronounce that correctly. With my family. Oh, and this that's my wife, Maria. Hello, Ryu. Sounds like you helped Ellen out. Oh. Nah, I can't read for shit. Thank you for helping her. Yes, thank you. Gosh, I'm so ashamed. I completely forgot about my daughter. The relic was the only thing on my mind. The relic? Are you talking about... Are you looking for the relic? Well, yes. I'm looking for the relic too. Well, this is a coincidence, so Ryu. Why are you looking for the relic? 
Many moments later... So you came to Kanoya to look for the relic? Yes, I have to find the relic, no matter what! Sir, is there anything I can do to help... Blah, 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 blah. Whatever. I'm sorry. We just met, and I'm being so pushy. You're so polite, Ryu. <laughs> Don't worry, we're about it. If I were in my... If, if I were in your shoes, I'd be just as earnest. So, if there's anything you want, just ask me. Please don't hesitate, okay? And it's not sir, just call me Claus, or Doctor, if you must. Oh, by the way, I'd like to ask you a favor. Yes, anything. I was thinking, if it's okay with you, why don't you look for the... Why don't we look for the relic together? Of course. I'd be happy to. Great, it's decided then. Thank you, Ryu. Let's do our best to find the relic. Yes, thank you. Well then, let's get started, Ryu, can you please follow me? Gee, it's so steep! Yes, somewhere down there there's a path that leads to the altar! A tel- a telier? Oh, whatever, I'm just gonna call it an altar. What is an altar?! It's a magic- oh, that's Maria. It's a magic workshop! Supposedly, about a hundred years ago, a magician lived in the forest. I'm gonna go so confused with all these people talking. We believe a magician did some research on the relic. If we go to his altar, maybe we can find some information about the relic. If we get the legend true, there should be some kind of special area down there. The path that leads to the altar should be hidden somewhere there. But, as you can see, the cliff is steep and I can't go down there. Before you two came, I tried to get down there, but ended up slipping and twisting my ankle. I can do this. Doctor, I'll give it a try. I'll get down there somehow. You're kidding! I'll find a safe path. I'll meet you down there. Please take the time. Oh, that was close. Maybe. I don't know. No, that was right. Are you serious? You're gonna be alright? I heard there's monsters lurking all about these cliffs. I'll be fine. I've survived greater dangers before. It doesn't matter. I'll do whatever it takes to get the relic. Be careful, alright? Good luck, Polly! Thanks. I'll see you later. Huh. <laughs> Jumping off that cliff like a boss, right? Like a boss. And that's it for this episode. Uh, and we'll continue on this path in the next episode. As always, I'm GamingFool12, and until next time, have a good day.